run the ball, continue to play action, or do you trust your quarterback a little bit more in the second half? Miami will get the ball first here to start the second half. Storm Johnson with the ball, following his block, is up across the middle. He hit it about the 31 yard line. deep setback for the Canes as they take over on first and 10. Miller, patient runner up the middle, picks his spot. He'll get out to about the 37 yard line. Second down and four. Morris gives it to Miller. Miller off the right hand side. He's got the corner. Flags come out. And Miller will be knocked out of bounds at about the 40. A second down. Ball backed up all the way to about the 28 yard line. Again, Miller with the call. Miller breaks free. Miller across the 40 to about the 44 yard line. Kenny Tate once again comes up and makes the stop. He's shown you the patience. He's shown you bouncing it outside. Now watch him step it up in the hole and then bye-bye. I mean, he's done such a good job making people miss. And listen, Matt Robinson, number 40, the true freshman, it's okay. <laughs> There's a lot of people that's making it. He's making a lot of people look silly. I can't silly. believe you put this right. number out there, name. <laughs> Lamar Miller now going over 100 yards, 103 to be exact, and a first down for the Canes at the 44. Miller gets the call this time. He is taken down yeah, in the This guy, is, he's been everything after the catch. Greg Cooper set back deep. And here's your guy, and that oh. time, Mr. Benjamin, he was ready to take off, and he's so fast, he didn't even have to wait for the ball, ball to get at the 43. Morris steps up in the pocket, flag comes out. He's going to be awfully close to another first down, but again, a flag resting Steven at the 40 yard line for Ja'Cory Harris, knocked out of the game last week with a concussion. Greg Cooper gets the call. Cooper nowhere to run that Cooper's time. Quarterback. Beautiful high punt. Tony Logan retreating back to the 22, does not fair catch it. Logan with some shifty moves gets out to about the 26 yard line before he is finally taken Justin down. Gilbert gets hurt as well. They've lost two tackles this year. First and 15. O'Brien has Scott off the left hand side. Scott will get it back about five. Colin McCarthy yards. coming here. They've seen this play already in the first half one time. A yak of <laughs> That's the way you're supposed to hit. Bring the feet. Yeah. That'll get you excited. Three for eight on third down conversions are the Terrapins. This is the third and eight with the ball resting about the 29 yard line. O'Brien with time, out of time. We are seeing the young true freshman grow up here on ESPNU. Stephen Morris, Monsignor Pay School just down the road five miles. Here he is, first year in college, starting at Sun Life Stadium for the Canes. Mike James, the deep setback. James with the call. And he'll roll forward to pick him about defense three yards. Is guessing. Even play call, the length of the time it takes. His good friend, defensive coordinator Don Brown at Maryland. Second down and six. Back to the running game. Mike James gets the call. Flags come out. Second down and 16. Greg gets the call. And what a, what a set of moves there. Ten yards on the game that ball you watch coming off the edge and just oh I mean just gave Matt Robinson the okey the okey yeah that's the second time he's given him the okey you need to draw that up or is that something we can share on TV it's good we're good right there okay <laughs> the okey shape third down and six now hurricanes in the red zone ball resting just inside the 15 Hankerson in motion Harris flushed from the pocket, big arm, has a man open, but had to throw that one away. And that's not the worst attempt from Matt Bosher. Spencer Whipple on the hold on the right hash. And Bosher able to punch it through, so the Hurricanes go on top 18-17 with 5-16 to play here. Would that be a travesty if Boise does not, runs the table and does not get to a BCS bowl? Travesty. Torrey Smith, eight yards deep, will not bring it out as we bring up the okay, Thank you. Oh, first and ten. Wow. We're going to talk schedule with TCU and Auburn and Oregon. O'Brien 
has his man out at the 30. First and 10 from about the 31. David Meggett off the right side, and Meggett almost breaking free, finally tackled at the 48 to 16 yard pass. Danny O'Brien looking off to the right. His receiver broke off the route. Danny O'Brien making the checks at the line. O'Brien getting pressure, nowhere to go, and he's sacked back at the 40. A little abdominal strain. You watch this guy. I tell you what, when you get him and Bailey on both sides working, they're tough to stop and just beats this guy coming around the corner. It was, it was better coverage. The secondary did a good job. Pins ball resting at the 40. O'Brien doing a great job of getting it out there. Balt's on to punt it away. And he gets away a beautiful punt. Benjamin calls for the fair catch. Hits his hands, it looks like. It goes into the end zone. Lamar Miller, the deep setback on first and 10. How about that burst of speed from Miller? Kenny Tate, number six, comes up and makes the stop. He carries 715 yard yards for the redshirt freshman. Second down at two. Miller off the right hand side looking to get around the corner. It's going to have enough for a first down. The flat 18 17. Second down and nine as we go under two minutes to play here in the third quarter. On the give to Cooper up the middle. And Cooper's got nothing doing there. He is sworn by a He's bunch of He's always going to do something a little bit unique. It's, that's what makes him fun to watch. Third and eight. Morris back to pass. Pocket collapsing. Picked off by Wojak. Alex Wojak with his second he's, interception. He's one of those guys, he knows how to play the game, he plays it the right way, but this is another, you gotta learn just to throw it away, not make big mistakes, but watch him. You look at Wojak, again, starts at the line of scrimmage, and again, starts to expand with the receivers, and just makes a, he did it right to him. He's trailing by one. Darrell Scott off the left-hand side, he's tackled immediately after a one-yard game. Second down and nine for the Terrapins. O'Brien looking to his left the whole way. That ball's picked off. And the redshirt freshman is picked off by number 26, Ray Ray Armstrong. The football, and so is Maryland, but he knows what he's doing right off the bat. He's got man to man coverage, kind of lost it up there, but just throws it way behind his receiver. It looked like even a little bit of miscommunication, but nice play by Ray, an even smarter play to jump yeah, down on the ground because so many deep setback. And look at this. They let Morris come out and throw after that interception. Morris is going to take off and run. He'll dive to about the 29-yard line. That's where Alex Wojak was there to meet him. A nine-yard pickup, but do you really want to see your third-string quarterback out there, true freshman, diving head first? I love it. Absolutely, man. This is I game time. What are you talking about? It's 18-17. I love what he did, too. Mark Whipple, offense coordinator. What did he do? Sudden change, try to take a shot deep. This offense has been good running the football, take some shots, and now it's fourth quarter time. It's money time. you got to slide, baby. Three quarters in the books. We're down to the fourth and final quarter, a one-point game. Hurricanes on top, but can their true freshman lead them to the promised land and bowl eligibility? We'll be back with the fourth quarter after this.